Fiona and Karen, you were the writers for Beware the Kids, Radio 3 drama that we've just heard. Um, d just provide us with a summary of, of what the play was about. Well, we were originally asked to write a drama about uh, the theme of the 21st century family. So initially, when we'd been asked, me, myself and Karen got together and we just discussed a lot of ideas and themes that we were interested in and you know what, what we thought would make um, a good thought-provoking piece of drama because that's what we were commissioned to do really. Right. Um, and, and over how long have you been working on, how long has this been, been in production if you like? We started actual drafts um, around about the beginning of September so we'd say about a couple of months. So that's that's a quick process, isn't it? It's been very intensive, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been. In, it's been, in, yeah, very intensive and, and quite intense for obvious yeah. reasons. Yeah. And, and how have you found? That, oh, yeah, subject material is intense anyway. So just if you could explain explain the the play. Um, well, the play. What we wanted to do is we wanted to explore um, a family that was basically not necessarily representational of you know twenty first century families, but that did exist and um, increasingly was in the news, which was, um, you know, highly dysfunctional, abusive families that just couldn't cope with, um, you know, children or, or, you know, basically just the, the very building blocks of being a family. So um, that's what I wanted to look at, really. And, um, and as soon as we started looking at it, obviously, we just, there was so much material to look at. And increasingly more so as as uh, as time went on in terms of research though is that not i mean it's a it's a difficult subject to write about anyway but uh, but surely doing the research for that would have been would have taken its toll oh, it's on harrowing. you yeah it's absolutely harrowing because as well you've got to get into the minds of you know characters that you know you don't necessarily want to inhabit but you, yeah. you know you've got to find some humanity within um you know within characters that you wouldn't necessarily want to um you know to be friends Pass in the street. with or, yeah <laughs> so it, it it is interesting and it does it, it's you know it, it it's it's quite you know you have to go to dark places to to explore that mm. and what were your what were your coping mechanisms for that um wine <laughs> okay um i think you just have to divide what you're doing between what you're you're looking at really because I think if you don't do that you'll not you'll not be able to explore anything I think if you don't take certain characteristics of characters that you're, you're reading about you, you know you, you'll you'll um sorry that's right <laughs> I think also, I mean, in terms of coping mechanisms, I think it's, you know, really important just to switch off. Like, you know, after, you know, reading something really dark about a family, I'd go and watch an episode of, like, Inspector Moore, some yeah. some murders or something, right, just okay. to chill out and right. just get your so head there is, yeah, there, there is that. a coping mechanism. Yeah. 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 yeah, there is. Or, you, you know, you just do something nice, you go and see your family, you know, you remind yourself of the good things in life, don't you? Yeah. And, you know, that this, you know, like Karen said, we're not writing about... Um, we're not saying this is every single family, but it is an element of society today that, you know, ultimately we, we're all, you know, we've got some responsibility towards, you know. Right. So you both did, I'm right in saying that you both did BBC Writers' Room um, initiatives or, or schemes, and then uh, you ended up on the BBC Writers' Academy, yeah, yeah. and that's where you met. Yes, it was. Had, it was. You, had you known each other, had you known each other since... Uh, we, before then, or? I mean, we hadn't because you know, I mean Newcastle is quite a small place, and everybody knows if they don't know everybody else, they know of everybody else. But we'd never actually really. We you said know, hello. You came to yeah, Scarborough once, yeah, didn't you? Uh -huh. And you yeah. said hello, and it was yeah. like oh. <laughs> so it was really nice when we found out that, that was it really. there was yeah. two northeast women on you know on the academy yeah. in the same year. It was fantastic. Yeah. When, you know, it was we filled the quota. Yeah, for, <laughs> <laughs> for, for Georgie <laughs> women. <laughs> Um, and uh, that leads me on to this whole idea of writing together. That is a really difficult subject. I've sat through it. I was terribly moved by it. Uncompromising drama to a certain extent. It's one thing for one person to write it. How on earth do two people go about doing that? We, we were very disciplined about mm -hmm. it, weren't we? I mean, we, we came together at, at the beginning and we planned everything out and then we split the characters and we each took responsibility for certain characters and went away and when we'd written them, then we came back and pieced it all together. But we also did things like we um, we wrote different scenes which haven't actually ended up in, but elements of 
things that we've written and that have been cut out of, of sort of like were reworked weren't there within scenes that were reworked within monologues and things like that it was quite interesting but I think the main thing is that we talked about everything mm. didn't we mm. uh, before you know we, we knew those characters really well before we, we knew went exactly off. where we were going yeah I mean I, I think you would have to with with five monologues otherwise it would just kind of get a bit of a jumble so we planned it like a military operation. Really well, didn't well, well, Karen did, because Karen is, <laughs> well, Karen is a absolutely planner. brilliant at planning, and I'm like really chaotic in my approach. And I usually find the story as I go on, and you know, the, uh, working we work in completely different See, that's ways. What, that's what's it's been just, interesting, isn't it? Isn't because it? you're a very intuitive writer, and, and I'm just like a really inly retentive planner so it, so that was like so that was really interesting to well, kind really of combine those yeah it was, it? Well, it, it was it was well to do something in such I think it's really important planning something like that and having Karen's approach in the limited amount of time that we had to actually write the piece and is, is this is this a relatively swift process in comparison to other projects that you worked on I mean I, not well, really you, you, no not really you, you I do mean television's tend, a fast yeah. turnaround mm -hmm. and you've you know right so, yeah. You, yeah, you've got to, yeah, it's quick, isn't it? But it is quick for such, a, a, you know, because we were dealing with such challenging material and we had to really get it so right because, it, you know, it, it it's an important story and, you know, you're dealing with very sensitive material. So, mm. it you know, in terms of dealing with that, researching that from, you know, um, from the start, it is, an you know, it's, it's quite a short Mm. period of time really mm. to, to turn it around and especially because we hadn't worked together but yeah. thank god we got on yeah we do even, <laughs> at, even at the end of it we still do i oh, know what's it like to have written those words with a particular voice in your head and then go to the rehearsals and the performance and hear them is it about being transformed you know that's the fantastic thing about actors because they can take your script that you've thought of one way and they can deliver it in a completely different magical way that you haven't you, they can draw things out of it that you might have not even been conscious of really i yeah. think that's what's mm -hmm. that's what's interesting yeah. about that whole process mm -hmm.